Hello everyone. This is in continuation with our part numerical problem. We are left with the last question that is question E. Uh, all the previous questions that is A, B, C, D were done in the previous videos. In case if you haven't watched those, I request you to please watch those videos before coming to this particular video so that you will have a better clarity on this particular uh, problem, right? Fine. So the question E. Uh, reads like this if the probability of completing the project is 0 0.84 find the expected project completion time means here the probability is given you need to find the expected project uh, duration right that is what it is so let me put this question e as like this so this is actually our previous question This is this is actually our previous question, and this critical path is our, I think, question C. This is question C, and this mean and variance. This one, these two together, is our question B, and the network is our question A. This is our. So A, B, C and D previously done. So let us go to question E now. Question E, the probability is known. We are supposed to find what is the duration. So probability is given as 0 0.84, isn't it? Probability is given as, yeah, 0 0.84. We are supposed to find the duration which we will consider it as some capital C. Okay, we are supposed to find this. Again, we will use the standard normal uh, conversion, which is subtract both sides by mu, divide both sides by sigma. This is equal to now 0.84. We know this x minus mu by sigma is our z value. And let us substitute the mu value. Mu value in this problem previously, what we found is 16 weeks. And standard deviation, we found it as 2.43. So let us subtract with 16 and divide by 2.34. Let me recheck once again. 16, 16 and 2.43. Yeah, 16 and 2.43. This is known to be 0 0.84. Now, let us assume this, this entire thing as small z. Let small z is equal to c minus 16 by 2.34. So I can rewrite this as probability of z less than or equal to small z is equal to 0 0.84. Now, if I represent this again in a graph, how do I do it? Let me draw a first x-axis. Then we will draw a bell curve. This is negative infinity, this is positive infinity and then we'll draw a center line. which will be our zero because mean is zero for a standard normal distribution. Now, previous uh, question D, we know this value. So we know where to plot that 7.82 because it is a positive number. So we plotted here after zero. Whereas here, this is unknown. Where do we plot before zero or after zero? One thing is this area is going to be shaded towards the left because it is having a less than or equality sign. And that area coverage is around 0 0.84. 0 0.84 means it is 84 percent. We know if I consider only this, it is 50 percent. So it has to cross. Means I should definitely plot that uh, z value after zero because you are going to shade it to the left. Okay. 
so we have our z here and this is that area which is 0.84 so this is what is our z less than or equal to uh, small z so let me split that i know it is it can be written as negative infinity to zero means probability negative infinity less than z less than or equal to zero then plus probability zero less than z less than or equal to small z these two if i add it will be 0.84 the same thing this i represented in a graph and then i am splitting it negative infinity to zero zero to z that is what is written here we know again this one the first one is actually 0 0.5 so it is 0.5 plus probability of zero less than z less than or equal to small z should be equal to 0.84 that means probability of zero less than z less than or equal to small z should be equal to uh, i take this 0.5 that side that means it will become negative so 0.84 minus 0.5 becomes now 0.34 now this is the area or this is the probability i need to identify the z value from the tables what is the table you can call it as area under standard normal distribution tables that tables we will refer to find what is the corresponding z so if you refer to the tables you may not exactly get the area of 0.34 in the tables but you may get something uh, which is nearer to 0.37 sorry 0.34 so one number which is point nearer to 0.34 is 0 0.3389. So let me write that means if the area or probability, if the area or probability, if it is nearer to 0 0.34, one number what I could get is 0 0.3389. What is the corresponding Z value? That also I can get it from the tables the other number is 0.3483413 what is the corresponding z value if it is 0.3389 the corresponding z value is 0 0.99 0 0.99 and this one it is 1.00 that means if i look if i take an average of this 0 0.3389 and 0 0.3413 i get approximately 0.34 if I take an average of that, that means I should take an average of this also to find the corresponding Z value, which is 0.995. Therefore, from tables, I can say from tables, your small Z value is 0.995. Now, let us go back. What is our Z we assumed? We assumed that Z as C minus 16 by 2.34. C minus 16 by 2.34. 3, 4. So by doing a cross multiplication, let us find what is our Z value. 0.995 into 2.34. Whatever result I am going to add is 16 to get the weeks as 18.33 weeks. Means the probability of completing, uh, if the probability is 0 0.84, that uh, then the actual duration to complete the project can be 18.33 weeks right so that that ends this particular question overall because we have done all the uh, questions a b c d and e all put together this is about uh, the project evaluation and review technique where uh, we don't have the duration uh, as a deterministic value whereas it is considered to be a probabilistic and we had seen that uh, the activity durations follows a distribution called beta distribution and we already know what is the mean of that beta distribution what is the variance of the beta distribution so all those things we started using to find the individual activity durations and then subsequently uh, we found we applied those mean durations in our duration uh, this thing for each activity found the critical path and then subsequently solved these probability problems in this, right? 
in case if you find this uh, videos to be useful to you contents of this video to be useful to you i request you to please like share and subscribe to my channel so that you can get regular updates on my uh, uploading of videos in the meantime i thank you all uh, for watching this video uh, take care see you